relationships, a lot of us do go in mentally with that. Let's slide on in our cha-cha slide to the next one, which is um because we sometimes print your print. Uh, sometimes we do feel like a lot of times we feel like black men ain't shit. So with that being said, would you consider dating outside of your race? If you keep bumping into these black men that ain't shit, how, how, would you consider dating a non-black man? 100%. I'll do that now. I'm not, here's my, here's my stamp of interracial dating. I feel like at a, at a, okay, I understand that we all have preferences and all that stuff like that. I know me personally, I would love to marry a black man and settle down with a black man. That would be great. However, I'm not going to block myself from something else. Cause for all I know, my soulmate is a five foot four Asian man. Granted, I'm not naturally attracted to that, but that could be my soulmate for all I know. And I'm not going to block myself from that happiness just because I'm sticking to my own race. So I, I 100%, it doesn't have to be like, I reach my cap with black men. It's just, if it, if I, if that's the person that I ended up connecting with and matching souls with, that's who I'm going to be with. Okay. Point blank period. He said, uh, I know you don't feel like most black men are, aren't shit, but besides that, would you consider dating outside your race? Yes. If yes, why? If no, why? Girl, yes. And the only the only why I could give. <laughs> okay. Now, this is literally I'm right. laughing because Ashley looks so shocked. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, hey, we done, we done, but we done talked about this. I done told you if the Lord send me a white one, let me, please let him look like Aquaman. Then I probably when you said the W word, I probably blocked you out and just kept on prints until you know. Okay. <laughs> it's possible, but no, I would like rather he's made white, French, uh, Italian, uh, like a, a sub, a sub, a sub, really. Italian. It, it, really, <laughs> it really, to me, it really doesn't matter for the simple fact of we we're all people. Like I'm, I, I'm not a, a person of color. I don't, you know. So when I actually, I'd be excited to see interracial dating and interracial marriages and stuff like that. That literally is something that's dear to my heart because we don't been categorized by color for so long and so much and it's not just black people you got them other you got other races or other colors mm -hmm. that have been held down because of who they are or how they are right so to see the interracial thing is like wonderful to me because then that lets me know that somewhere we are being we're able to get along because i, I promise you one thing when you die ain't nobody gonna look at you colored in so what's the point of looking at your color now? Okay, so this is the thing. I know the question is framed of would you consider dating outside your race? Um, and I'm going to pull a Caucasian person card. I'm not racist. I have a, a white friend. <laughs> you know they love to say, I have a black friend. His name is James. <laughs> and I have a black female friend. Her name is... Get your friend. You know. Get your friend keep okay, so this is the thing. Um... <laughs> Clearly, y'all know I'm not racist whatsoever uh, because I do have uh, Caucasian friends um, and associates, and uh, I've worked with a lot of Caucasian people, and uh, depending on what type of Black people that I'm around, typically if it's more hood, urban people, you know, they consider me, I talk like a white girl, you know, um, which is strange to me. Uh, but I'll, I'll take it, you know, that means I'm college educated, you know, but I, I feel like I'm a chameleon, I can adapt to whatever situation or environment that I'm in. Uh, okay, so my preference, my stance on this is I prefer to be with a black man. Um, Clearly. I, just, I just, I can't do it. I, I just, I, because of the history, I get what you're saying, Keista. Courtney, you're just more like free spirited, you know. You're just like you're, and you're younger, you know. You're 28. She says she she's around my age, 34. Um, and she's like, I get because of the past and the history. I'm happy. I'm thrilled. You know, I I I'm happy about that. You know, when I see interracial dating, I'm more on the. I don't care about their relationship. It's just me. I can't do it. The only way I would do it, be with a Caucasian person, 
Um, because typically when we talk about interracial, we ain't talking about what Courtney said, like Asian. It's usually black and white. I, even though we know there's more ethnicities out here, but it's usually black and white, you know. Okay, so I just I just can't do it. The history, I just I just cannot do it. And this is one of the main reasons why. And I know a lot of people may look at this and say, well, the guy that you're dating, he's usually he's probably gonna be 35 like you, Ashley, and he's not like that. Well, just let's let's be realistic. Going over to his family, they're probably like that, especially Southern, because you know, me and Keith were from South Carolina. So here in South Carolina, if he's not like that, which would be shocking, his family is like that. Like my Caucasian friends now, their aunts and uncles are racist. They're racist. And it makes me uncomfortable, you know. Um we joke about it, you know, but uh, it's still realistic. Like, they are racist. Some people are still riding around with the Confederate flag. Like, how am I, if I'm dating a white man, how am I supposed to go over to the cookout and date Bubba pulling up with the Confederate flag, you know, and I just, and I know people mm -hmm. like, well, that's Bubba. That ain't got nothing to do with um Brian, you know, or Brad. All right, Tommy. Because the Confederate flag, you got to remember, you got to know, do they have the Confederate flag up for the original meaning or do they have it up because of that meaning? Wait, girl, please. You you, you, you know what it is. We're from South Carolina. We know what it is. But anyway, uh, so I, me personally, my stance on it is I do not plan on dating outside my race. Uh, I go down fighting, swinging for the black man. <laughs> the ones that are good successful black men not the ones that ain't shit you know uh whatever but um I, my preference is i want my cute chubby little brown babies that's that's what i want that's why i want to create and then i want to keep wealth into the black community i want to keep passing it down because you know another thing like what kanye west say once a black man get on he leave your ass for a white girl which is true you know um, and that's a whole nother topic that we can get into that, which I, I need to bring my friend up here because listen, the things that I heard about that, why black men choose Caucasian women versus us, you know, that who's been down with them from the beginning. Y'all would be, Courtney, you'd be so mad. <laughs> you probably tear that down. You all box up behind you. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, my, my take on it is I'm going to stick with him my ethnicity um for so many reasons um passing down legacy and generational wealth keeping it within the black community and um i i have a quick question for you mm -hmm. do you consider biracial people not black uh i can un un i want to say unfortunately but the reason why I'm saying unfortunately is because they are they they are automatically labeled as black, automatically. And, and I, but I get that we know because of DNA they are really biracial, you know. But unfortunately, they have to choose a side. Like you have two options: they can personally choose a side, which is I want to be identified as because you know we're in this new era of uh, call me as I want to be called. So if they like my complexion, I'm I'm. I'm brown, so, but I do have Caucasian people in my family, right? Later on down, you know, not too far down like most people, but, you know. So if I say, because I, let's say I know my Caucasian family, like I'm around them, so I'd be like, I would like to be addressed as Ashley, and I am, oh God, I'm doing a voice. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I, I mean, automatically they're going to be black, automatically. I was just going to say, I, from the conversations I've had with biracial people, um, it's like they don't even get a chance to pick a side. And that's with either side. They're too black for the white people and they're too white for the black people, which right. is sad, which which sucks. It, right. it sucks for them because it's almost like, I don't know, when you say like they have to pick a side, it's almost like having saying you have to, you're forced to choose an identity, even if you don't fully agree with that. And I don't think that's necessarily fair. I mean, I get what you're saying, but I don't think that's really fair, but. It's not. I, I don't um, want them to, I want them to be what they are, which is biracial. But 
at the end of the day, they're black. And the reason why is because black people, we gonna call them black. Oh, your mama was black or your dad, you black. And then Caucasian people, they automatically, that drop of N-word blood, they're automatically black. So yeah. they're black by default. So you say, say for whatever reason, <laughs> You ended up with a white man, right? And having babies and stuff. And I know you said you wanted to pass the the wealth onto the community, onto you know our people. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't, if you had biracial kids, you wouldn't consider that passing that still into the community. Almost definitely, because remember they're black because of me. Okay. And actually, to help, actually. If Caucasian people want to help the Black community and build us up, you know, you should marry, you should do um, more interracial dating, like marry more Black people, have more Black babies, because now that wealth, that your Caucasian wealth is now going into the Black, is Black dollars, they're flipping into Black dollars, they're, they're helping building us up. So not only just, you know, maybe Caucasian people are meeting, uh, Black American people at these protests and, you know, at these marches and rallies and stuff. And hopefully they're finding Black love, hashtag Black love, you know? Um, And then they're having, like I said, if I, using your example, if I met a Caucasian man and I fell in love, first off, check my drink because something ain't right, you know? Y'all know, y'all check my drink. But if I fell in love, we still, those are considered Black babies by default because of me. I got gotcha. you. So it's, um, it's, it's still within the, you know, damn. black community. I had a point, but I forgot it. So it's okay. So, yeah. So, just to recap, I will not date outside my race. I'm 100% wanting a black man. Oh, someone commented. Okay. Uh, Sugar Knox uh, said, I'm with Ashley Monique. I can't do it because of the history. Right, right. Yeah, I, but I you know what? That. I think I remember my point. But you know what? They say what in like 10 years or something like that, white people are going to be the minority. So apparently they're expecting a lot of people to start. And then that, and, and because of and what you're saying, if that's true, then it's going outside of just black and white because now you have like, honestly, and I know this is going to sound so crazy, like me really seeing like interracial relationships because I'm born and raised in South Carolina, a small rural town in South Carolina. I really started seeing interracial relationships when I went on a cruise, my very first cruise, and when I moved to Columbia. So those were both like around 2015, 2016, which wow. is, and I was born in 85. So that that's sad. Like I literally was looking like, and then, um, and then, like, talking to the people from college and stuff, I was like, how, like, guys, a girl, I'm like, how do you end up talking to a Hispanic person? Because I don't see Hispanic people around here in Marion or, you know, in, Mar- in, in Marion, in Columbia, there's a lot. But the only time I see a Hispanic person in Marion, which I was confused at Food Line and Walmart, I'm like, why they got a Hispanic aisle for? It? Where are they? You know, I just see them working. I, I'm so serious, though. Like, I'm not trying to be, funny. I know, I don't see them. Other than but like you know on a roof, <clears throat> I was gonna say, but you know what? That just goes in the show. Like it all depends on like how you grew up on how you see things. Because I was born in '92, but I was born into the military. You know, pretty much. Oh well, you saw. So a lot. I was always like the only black kid in the class. Oh. You know what I mean? Like it was like that until 10th grade when I moved to Miami when my mom went TDI to Korea. And that was the first time I had ever went to a predominantly black school was 10th grade. So, and then the black, the, cause since it was always um, me being like the only black kid in the class with a whole bunch of white people, Asian people, blah, blah, blah. The other black boys in there, especially with me being chubbier and all that stuff like that, they paid no attention to me. Like my first school boyfriends and also like that white, um, Mexican, Asian, he turned out to be gay. I don't want to say I added on to that, but you know, like I didn't <laughs> have stupid. a black boyfriend until like ninth, tenth grade, and even so, he was from Marion. So, wow. yeah, so like I think that's where I'm coming from. Where I'm like, I'm all for inter interracial relationships but for the longest time. Yeah, that's what I was looking because black guys didn't pay attention to me. Oh, well, you this that's a whole nother topic because 
the way you just I thought you when you said you're willing to uh, date outside your race is because you just open. But now you actually have a reason why because of how you grew up and the treatment, well, the mistreatment of black men when you were around him. But yeah, but I think that's the reason why I'm open is because, you know, growing up when, you know, when you're coming into, I don't know, sexuality, however you want to call it, that right. those were my options. The black boys that were around, they didn't want me. You know what I mean? So right. it was just like, those were my options. So maybe that's why I'm so open. But I mean, to be honest, I don't, because of how I am, I don't, I don't see it being different had it been a different way, but I don't know that because, you know, it didn't happen so right okay 